Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel with a penny stock countdown video you've been asking about for months, but I wanted to wait to find the best penny stocks to buy for this list. In this video, not only will I reveal those 10 penny stocks under $5 a share, but I'm also gonna share with you a strategy to invest that will make you rich. We're gonna get right into it, but you know I've gotta send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, penny stocks can make you rich, but if you're like most investors, you're doing it wrong. Investors buy and sell their penny stocks like their daily mocha frappa cocachino, buying and selling for that quick profit. And this kind of short-term investing can make you money. And we've done really well with our penny stocks recommended over the last year with an average 206% return even after that recent sell-off on stocks like Veritone, Tellurian, and Ryerson. So you can make money trading penny stocks, but it won't make you rich. And why? Because it's a two steps forward and one step back mentality. You take those penny stock profits too early when a stock hits 40 or 50% return, investors just get excited and wanna book that money but they hold on to their losers. And nation, there are always gonna be losers. And no investor is gonna have a perfect track record. And, and there will be penny stocks that dump 20 or, or even 30% immediately. So you make money here and your portfolio takes those two steps forward, but the losses drive you back a step. You make that forward progress, but it's hard going anywhere on just one step at a time. You're constantly searching for that next hot stock, and that's not a winning strategy in penny stocks. Instead, I want you to think of penny stock investing like a venture capital investor. Now, those of you in the nation are going to recognize that analogy, and maybe I draw on that world of startup investing too much, but that's where I come from. That world of pre-IPO investing where, where you can make a 4,000% return like Peter Thiel did as one of the first outside investors in Facebook. As a venture capital analyst, I advised millionaire investors in those startup companies they would hold for three, five, even as long as 10 years, investing in these small micro cap companies on the idea that a very few could become billion dollar leaders someday. Now the idea here isn't that every investment is gonna 10X your money. In fact, a study of these kinds of pre-IPO investments by Willamette University found that more than half lost money. That's the bar all the way on the far left here. About 55% of those investments produced a return of less than the initial investment. But then here, look at the bars on the right, those exit multiples of five, 10, and more than 30 times the investment. It's this 15% of the investments, maybe one or two out of 10 investments that produces the majority of your returns in that venture capital portfolio. And circled here, you can see this overall portfolio return that even with those dud investments, all it takes is a few big winners to get that 2.6 fold return. That's 160% on your money. It is this kind of return without that two steps forward, one step back trading that will make you rich over a period of five or, or 10 years. So instead of jumping in and out of your penny stocks, the best strategy here is gonna be building that portfolio of maybe 10 or 15 great companies over a few years and, and holding them, giving them three to five years to grow into that 30 times return and instead of selling them for a quick 50% gain. In fact, maybe you only add three to five new penny stocks to your portfolio each year, just being super selective in terms of, of what you buy and what you put your money in. Okay, that's the strategy. Now for the fun part, 10 penny stocks under $5 a share each. And here I'm gonna offer up a new way to look at these, counting down on the best stocks at each dollar value. We'll start with the first two stocks under $5, then four and three, until we get to the last two stocks under a dollar per share. I'll be putting all 10 of these penny stocks into my paper portfolio on Webull to follow. I like the research I get with Webull, but I love the stock simulator feature. The app gives you a million dollars to use in your paper portfolio to track your favorite ideas before you invest real money. I'll leave a link to Webull in the video description below. Use that link and you'll get two free shares of stock worth up to $1,600 when you open an account and make your first deposit. You'll get two free shares, a great app for investing, and you'll be supporting this channel, so I appreciate it. Now let's get to those 10 stocks under $5 a share, but understand, these stock prices move fast. By the time you watch, you, they could be higher, so I've tried to pick penny stocks that I think are worth way more, no matter when you see the video. I'll reveal those 10 stocks to buy, show you how to use the screener for penny stocks, and how to narrow your list. Our first stock here under $5, a Vuray Inc, ticker V-R-A-Y, a specialty medical device maker out of Ohio. Now, Vuray produces and sells a unique radiation therapy system, the world's first MRI-guided system that can simultaneously image and treat cancer patients. The propriety software locates, targets, and tracks soft tissue tumors 
while radiation is delivered. The company already has more than 41 systems installed and 11,000 patients treated with trials showing an increase in first and second year survival rates under the system. Management estimates a $6.5 billion market opportunity in that global radiation market and just a fraction of that could 10x the company's sales already at $60 million annually. Vuray had a backlog of $241 million in orders as of last year. That's more than four years worth of sales, so, so that top line revenue number is growing fast. It booked sales growth of 19% annually over the last three years, and this could really pick up soon. Resonant, ticker RESN, is a late-stage development company designing RF filters for non-mobile devices. And with all the talk around 5G mobile, it's easy to forget that the majority of devices are going to be non-mobile. All those Internet of Things connected devices that are going to need those filters. Resonant is on target with a strategic partnership of manufacturing and scheduled to complete its first production volume this year. Revenue jumped to $1.4 million last quarter, double the previous quarter, and a 14-fold increase from the same quarter in 2019. Now, at a price-to-sales ratio of 48 times, that's not cheap here. But the market for this is huge as that 5G starts ramping up in those non-mobile devices. We've still got eight more in our penny stocks list, but I wanted to share the stock screener that I used to find these and then how to narrow down your list to the best penny stocks to buy. For that penny stock screener, I can go into the Weeble app, click on markets in the menu, and then go to the screener. And a great feature here is that I can save my screens and then go back to them anytime I want for stock picks in that theme. First in our screen is filtering by market cap, the size of the company. And here a penny stock size company is anything under a billion dollars market cap, but I usually like to narrow it down a little further to less than five or $600 million. Next, since we're talking about stocks under $5 a share, we'll filter for stocks under that share price. And, and we can actually make a new screen for every level here. So I can screen for stocks under five, under four, and one for everything under stocks to a dollar. Now, I also like to use this return on equity, that ROE, and the return on assets, ROA filters, to narrow down that initial list. It's not a must, but it just helps you limit the stocks that you have to research and make sure you're only investing in where management is able to drive that profitable return on shareholder equity and assets. You can see how many stocks meet the criteria and I can click through and start my research. Now, I recommended Obseva ticker OBSV in a video last August when it was $2.70 a share. It's up 18%, but still a solid pick for one of our penny stocks under $4. The company is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical focused on treatment for women's reproductive health. It's advancing three products across four indications, with one that could file its new drug application in just a few months. That and these other products could be big catalysts for the company and the shares. These types of clinical stage penny stock companies don't have any revenue, but Obseva does have a solid balance sheet with $50 million in cash against just $27 million in debt and that near-term catalyst. Now, this next penny stock may be perfectly timed. $161 million Ocean Power Technologies, ticker OPTT. The company is a pioneer in renewable wave energy technology, converting ocean waves into electricity through advanced autonomous power generating buoys. The floating system drives an electric generator, stores the power in a lithium ion battery that can be transmitted through a fiber optic cable. Ocean Power has four products already available, including a solar power generating buoy, along with three more products in development. It's estimating an $8.5 billion market across four target industries, including other product uses in maritime security and reporting. We've still got six more penny stocks to watch, but I want to take a minute to share what I'm looking for in a good penny stock investment, how to narrow your list. Those of you in the nation, you know I'm not about to just drop 10 stock picks in your lap. That does nothing for you, and I want you to be able to find these investments on your own. So there's really four keys I'm looking for when searching for these penny stocks to buy. And these go back to my days as a venture capital analyst, the process that I created to find those early stage companies with 10 and, and 20x return potential. First here is a management team that includes founders as well as some experience in finance and marketing. And now this list of what I watch for is going to be in no particular order, but a good management team is critical. In fact, I'd say at least half of the startup investment deals that I passed on working for venture capital were for weakness in people leading the company. Next here, it's all about growth and how big the company can become. Now, I'm looking for companies here with a giant addressable market and proven sales growth over the last few years. Now, generally, that means sales growth of at least 20% or more over the last couple of years. So that's easy enough to screen for when you're looking for these stocks to buy. And for that addressable market, that's the size of the potential customer base and management's estimate for, for what market share they think they can take in the future. And now, that information is usually found in the company's financial reports or in the presentations on its investor relations page. 
For example, researching Fastly, I found it was estimating a $35 billion market for its two segments and a compelling case for being able to take that market share that that's turned it into a nearly 200% return on the shares. Now, most of these early stage penny stock companies aren't gonna be profitable yet, but you'll wanna see those companies that are growing their sales while keeping costs under control. So, so you've got at least a pathway to profitability. Now, finally here, it's gonna take some research because you've gotta find the companies with a competitive advantage. And these companies aren't competing in an empty market, right? Uh, these startups are coming into industries with established players and, and they need a compelling reason why customers should switch. For example, with Zscaler, I saw a unique cloud-based security product that could take that market share from the legacy providers that, that were still dependent on the hardware and the data centers. It takes a little time and some research, but that's why you're only investing in maybe three or, or five new penny stocks a year. Nation, don't just depend on some Yahoo that looks great in a bow tie to be picking your stocks for you. Electrocore Inc, ticker ECOR, is a bioelectronic medical device company with a non-invasive nerve stimulator for migraine sufferers. The product is the first cleared by the FDA to target the 39 million person market of cluster headache and migraine sufferers in the US and, and has patent coverage to 2033. Revenue was up 46% last year with product reimbursement available through CVS Caremark and Express Scripts. Now, this is a huge market that the company is just beginning to tap into. Remark Holdings, ticker MARK, is a $265 million leader in AI solutions for business applications, and that artificial intelligence theme is one of the biggest in our ARK Invest Big Ideas report. ARK estimates that the market cap for AI companies could grow to $30 trillion over the next 16 years at a 17% annual growth rate and contribute more than the internet and IT companies combined. The company makes AI software and solutions in retail, smart city, and workplace safety with some real cutting edge ideas. For example, in retail, the software produces real-time customer analytics that can be actually used to analyze a customer's path throughout the store. It can then combine this with prior data and use that to guide marketing in-store. The company won a master contract to transform all 18,000 China mobile stores into smart stores, and its biosafety solutions is being used for pandemic response with thermal imaging that can monitor the health of students in real time in the classroom. This company could see huge growth in any of these segments, but over the next few years, that push for smart cities could really drive it, being able to analyze the road traffic, crime, and urban planning. Moroni Bio Innovations, ticker MBII, is our first penny stock under $2 a share. Moroni offers a biologically based solution for crops, turf protection, and seed treatments as an alternative to those traditional pesticides. And besides that trend to sustainability, it's also benefiting from strength in the agricultural market over the last year and estimates a 7.2 billion biologicals market on $50 billion in U.S. organic food sales. Organic produce is now 15% of all U.S. fruit and vegetable sales after having doubled over the last decade. The company books 93% of its sales from North America, but already has a strong start and expansion plans internationally. Sales were up 31% last year and three-year annualized growth of 28%. Now, management is guiding to $50 million in incremental sales by 2026 on a strong market only getting stronger. Berna Technologies, ticker BYRN, is a $183 million company making non-lethal protection and munitions like its flagship product that shoots a 68 caliber ball of chemical irritants that neutralizes a threat without the consequences of a conventional firearm. Nation, I don't know if it is or if it just seems that way, but the last couple of years, it seems chaos is all around us and the demand for self-protection is another of those universal trends that I'm watching over the next decade. The less lethal market is expected to double from five billion a year to 10 10 billion by 2025, and Berna is well positioned in that civilian and law enforcement market with its 68 caliber product. It's lower cost compared to tasers and bowler app and has a longer range than pepper spray. In fact, revenue surged 16 fold last year to $16 million. The company has more than 4.6 million in balance sheet cash and turned cash flow positive. Their shares aren't cheap at 11 times on a price to sales basis, but with that kind of growth, this is one to put on your radar. Our first stock under a dollar per share is Healthlinked Corporation, ticker HLYK, in one of the biggest trends of last year. The company provides a cloud-based network in healthcare connecting patients, doctors, and data. Patients and doctors can check their records, enter symptoms, and schedule all online. These kinds of virtual services and software are the future of healthcare. 
It may not replace all your doctor visits, but it will replace many. Mobile and telehealth is already an $18 billion market, according to Bloomberg Analytics, and growing at a 30% plus pace every year. Revenue jumped 52% last year to $6.1 million after nearly doubling in 2019, and the company books multiple revenue streams through reimbursement and marketing. This next stock under a dollar a share is $59 million Gatekeeper Systems, a provider of tech hardware and video solutions to the public and private markets. Now, I really like this theme and the fact that the company is in two of the biggest trends I'm watching. The company is providing those video capabilities to smart cities and security as well as using its AI-driven analytics to make better decisions. That platform as a service model means consistently growing revenues as cities adapt to that revolution in Internet of Things through wirelessly connected vehicles and video monitoring. Sales have grown at an 11% annual pace over the last three years but are up over 27% in the last year, so increasing there and it's a cash positive company with 1.75 million in balance sheet cash versus just 240,000 in total debt. Click on the video to the right for seven penny stocks that pay dividends, seven companies that are gonna pay you to invest. Don't forget to join that Let's Talk Money community by tapping the subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.